Debugging an Apex Application It's essential to learn debugging tools for development environment to help pinpoint problems within an application. After this video, you will know how to integrate your debugging messages with Apex's inbuilt instrumentation. First, we'll head over to the checkbox process. Checkbox process we created earlier. And we'll add some debugging commands. This way we can track what's happening. So after the align checkboxes, I'm going to display some counts using the apex debug.message. This is the 4.2 version. Uh, there are, have been some changes over the versions in the past. They're all backwards compatible, but this is the current API. And we'll also put a message just before the update. We'll apply those changes and we'll run. And we can see in the developer toolbar, there is a debug and a few debug option. So by turning the debug option on, we now see this parameter in the URL set to yes. This is turn debugging on. There are other ways and means of turning on debugging, but this now enables us to make some changes and submit the page. All this has been logged, so we can go and view the debug, which will give us a list of debug logs that have been recorded for given pages. And we want to have a look at page 11. We'll search for the word checkbox. And there's the process that was executed, as well as our output. Two elements in the dense checkbox, 15 in the sparse. Also notice where the bottlenecks are in the debug log. And we can see that in the chart above. And that's the process that actually gets executed, which was the highest bottleneck in this particular debug process. So we've integrated our debugging needs with the Apex infrastructure. This will make it easier to debug your application, particularly within your own PLSQL editions. Next we'll see how we can use debugging within the browser.